So there's a general rule that 3,500 calories is what a hiker needs to eat in order to replace the energy spent hiking. And in this video, I'm gonna test that out. I've put together a couple of meals and some snacks, stuff that I would generally eat for 24 hours in the mountains. So we're gonna find out how many calories is in all of this food I have here and how much of it I actually need on a typical hike like this. Right now, it's just turned 10 o'clock. I haven't had breakfast yet, so let's dive into that first. So for breakfast, I've got a pretty nutrient dense version of your standard oats or porridge. We're gonna start off with three tablespoons of oats, three tablespoons of coconut milk, a tablespoon of pecan nuts, or any nuts you wanna use. I've got a tablespoon of hemp seeds, another one of cacao nibs, chia seeds, and protein powder. And that gives it some chocolate flavor. You can really use whatever you want. A lot of the calories will come from the shredded coconut, and I've added some goji berries for a little bit of sweetness. You could use brown sugar, honey, whatever you like. Then I'll mix that all together, put it in a little plastic bag. It ends up being 650 calories for only 114 grams. So I've just mixed this up pretty quickly, threw a bit of water in there. It is very watery, it looks more like a smoothie at the moment. I might have a quick taste now, it's a brand new recipe, I haven't tried it yet. I'm super excited about this one. Mm. It's really good but it needs a little longer to soak in the water. Let's hit the trail. The reason I'm doing all this is because I'm essentially testing for an upcoming through hike that I'll start in a couple of weeks. So I'm just making sure that this stuff's gonna work for me, which is, I think, a good idea. <laughs> Okay, I think I've found my dream house. Maybe if enough people hit the like button, I'll be able to live here. So, almost finished this now. Mm, it's delicious, you really gotta chew it. Well, it's warm. I've been walking for probably an hour since I had breakfast, so I'm gonna have a little snack now. If you can get your hands on this dried mango, don't miss out, it's really good. I've had a couple of pieces of that, three peanut M&Ms and a date. Okay, after a bit of uphill, time for a quick snack, I think. I don't want to eat a big meal here because I've just started kind of getting into a bit of a rhythm. If I eat a huge lunch, then it's really going to slow me down. So I'm just going to have a little snack. I'm going to find a better spot to eat though. I can hear some water, so I'm going to go see if I can find a little pool to bathe in. Definitely fresh from the mountain stream. Uh, coffee and something to eat. So, coconut powder, super high in fat, very high in calories, weighs nothing. It's an awesome thing to bring and put in your porridge or your oats or coffee as well. And this is so delicious. Perfect thing to have after a little waterfall swim. I'm also gonna have some of my trail mix now. So this is full of almonds, peanuts, cashews, walnuts, dried cranberries. So I'll have a handful of that. I'm gonna have another piece of dried mango. Have another date as well. So I have eaten, but I'm still pretty hungry. So before I go, I'm gonna have one 
last thing, and that is the double stuffed Oreo. Mm. Quick note for vegans, the normal Oreos, they are vegan, but the double stuffed ones, they're not. Okay, time to get a move on. Well, it's about another hour after lunch and been coming up hill, just not really feeling 100%. Not bad or anything, I just feel like I'm in the edge where I'm not like, I'm not really charging like I want to be. So, magic powder, salt. Thinking back to what I've eaten so far today, I haven't hardly had any salt. So, always bring a bag of salt. This is like proper sea salt. You can also get Himalayan salt, it's really great. I'm just gonna mix it with like a really basic tang lemon flavor. Thing. I'm not a big user of electrolyte drinks, but I usually have these two ingredients in my pack just in case, so we're going to mix one up now. I'm not going to use all of this because there's like loads of it, so I'll just pour a little bit into my... This is a 500ml flask. And some salt. Doesn't need to be much. That'll probably do it. Shake it around a bit. So. Not too many calories in it, but that's not what we're after. In this case, it's all about replacing the electrolytes and the salts, things that I've been sweating out over the last couple of hours. So beautiful. So it's been a relatively big climb up this valley. Been going for about five hours now. It's definitely time for a salty snack. <laughs> Spain is like the home of salami. I choose like the cheapest, greasiest, most disgusting looking salami. Oh my God. It's so good though. It's like fat and salt. Exactly what I need. I'm still pretty hungry, so I'm gonna smash this cliff bar. It's another 268 calories. Probably a beer down there with my name on it. So behind me is Refugi Koma de Vaca, which means eating of cows. What? Come on, it's one beer. <sighs> okay, so it's 4.30 and I'm pretty hungry, so I'm about to go to town on some of these other snacks I have. This is a little like energy gel chew thing. I'm going to have a handful of this stuff, which is like cocktail mix, lots of salt and spices on there, and I'll probably have four or five peanut M&Ms, and then I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to head further up the valley. Ideally, I just want to find somewhere in a camp, hang out, enjoy the afternoon. like a nice valley. I'm going to have three more M&Ms. I 
been searching for a campsite for the last half an hour or so and I think I'm going to stay here. This seems like a pretty good spot. Everywhere else is really windy so I'm just going to set up camp here. I'm going to start cold soaking my dinner and I'm just going to relax by this lovely little stream here. So this is a new cold soak creation of mine. This is a mushroom risotto. Now I've been really struggling trying to get together a cold soaking menu here because a lot of the stuff in the US has freeze dried rice and refried beans and all this stuff and it's impossible to get here in Spain. I haven't been able to find it anywhere. What I did find though is rice flakes and I picked this up from an Indian like Asian store. In fact a lot of the stuff I get is from Asian stores. It's cheap and it's very different to what you find in the regular supermarkets. So I've used rice flakes instead of freeze dried rice. Other than that, we've got some cheese powder, which I actually got from the States, from Indiana, from Hoosier Farms. That's really good. Hopefully you can get it throughout Europe, but check on Amazon, that's where I got it. And then I've got three or four sliced up dehydrated mushrooms thrown in there. And then from there, it's all about the flavor. So I've got garlic powder, onion powder, rosemary, and then there's also some Himalayan salt in the mix. And to beef it up a little bit, there's some TVP for some extra protein. So that textured vegetable protein. You don't need a dehydrator for any of these meals that I'm sharing with you in, uh, in this video. So it's all store-bought stuff. All right, we're gonna start cold soaking. So this thing already looks pretty beefy for a cold soak meal. I'm real excited about this. General rule of thumb, as far as I know with cold soaking, is to try and get the water uh, just above the actual contents. Okay, I still think we could add a little more. Actually, we'll add some olive oil first. This is the secret ingredient for adding extra calories to any meal and also making it delicious. So we'll start with that. Give it a good shake. So I just had a little taste test. It is amazing. I can't wait to hook into it. Yes, it's cold, but I mean, I've been hiking all day in pretty hot weather. I'm not really that keen for a hot meal. The one thing I'll say is it's probably a little salty, so I'm gonna take a little bit of salt out of the final recipe for you. But if you wanna check it out, check the link in the description to my website. You can download the recipe or just see it on my website for free. Mm. Really enjoy the lack of cleaning up. Ah. Now for dessert. For the final and arguably most important meal of the day, I'm going to finish off with some double stuffed Oreos that have been smashed in some other melted chocolate. And I'm going to put some peanut butter on top of that with a date on top. This is going to be a little bit hard to measure the calories, but I can make a fair guess. Oh, oh what a nightmare. Tell you what, these double stuffed Oreos, man, they don't hold together very well. They don't have the structural integrity of just the regular Oreos. I'll tell you that right now. Jesus. Okay, let's put some peanut butter on it. I guarantee you this is delicious. And the final touch is the date on top. So let's have a look. That is dessert. I could eat a couple of these. Let's try it out. Mmm. Oh, that is really good. I don't think I can eat anything else. I'm done. So it's time to do the math and find out exactly how many calories I ate today. This is the final countdown. It was 3,050 calories. So was 3,050 calories enough for this day of hiking? Well, yeah, it was. I felt full at the end of the day. I recovered and I performed pretty well the next day. 
In fact, the next day was much harder. I ate similar food on that day, but at the end of the day, I was super hungry. Like I came home and had a massive burger, I had a huge baguette with tuna. So if this was a through hike and I was gonna continue to perform this way, then I'd probably wanna be eating closer to 3,500 calories, perhaps even more. But just keep in mind, these numbers are gonna be completely different for you. Just for reference, I'm 78 kilos and 183 centimeters tall and I'm reasonably lean. So depending on your body type, it's gonna be a little bit different for you. So what have I learned from my little experiment here? Well, firstly, I've learned how to read nutrition labels on products. Every single product, especially in Europe, where you look at the back of the label, it'll tell you how many calories per 100 grams. And I've just now got a really good understanding of how important that is. You know, when I'm shopping for my hikes or when I'm resupplying on a through hike, I'm gonna be looking at those labels looking for the highest number of calories possible. What you will find is that the high caloric density foods are often really like unhealthy junk foods. They're gonna be high in trans fats, they're gonna be high in sugars and all kinds of preservatives. So do we really wanna be eating this way? I think that's a sacrifice we have to make as hikers or especially through hikers. We need a lot of calories and you can't get it from dehydrated vegetables. So you do kind of have to eat a bit of junk food. Is that gonna be bad for you in the long term? Yes, I mean, if you through hiked constantly 12 months a year, then it's probably not gonna be the best thing for you. But if you're doing this a couple of weeks or even a month or two out of the year, and then the rest of the time you make up for it by eating well, then you're probably gonna be fine. The main thing is there is a lot to learn here. And even if you did consult a dietitian or a nutritional expert to help you navigate this stuff, it is ultimately going to be up to you to learn a little bit more about this. So if you like, we can continue this discussion and share more information. I've just started a Discord, which is essentially a forum where we can discuss anything between mind, body, and gear. They're the things that I focus on in this channel. If this is the first video you've seen of mine, then welcome. My name is Chase. I specialize in corrective exercise for outdoor athletes. I really like to work with hikers, especially long distance through hikers. So if you're into that, please subscribe, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. And thanks to my patrons who've been supporting all the work that I've been doing for the last six months. You guys are awesome. I'll share the rest of this video and the rest of this trip to my Patreon account. If you want to join me, I'll see you there. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the summit. Thank you.